This is the movie report at CinemaCon, written by Michael DeKean. CinemaCon 2022's final day stuck largely to the formula set up at the 2019 edition. Kicking off the day in the morning slot was, per that formula, paramount. While the studio did open with a big musical performance, as has been the norm since former 20th Century Fox distribution head Chris Aronson took over the same position at Paramount, the presentation of upcoming releases was unusually short. The audience was given the very first looks at footage from franchise starter Hopeful Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, starring Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez. Franchise revival hopeful Transformers Rise of the Beasts, with Anthony Ramos and Dominique Fishback, and the long in the works Blazing Saddles inspired animated feature Paws of Fury The Legend of Hank. But those titles and the talent involved took a backseat to one man, Tom Cruise. Prior to the reason for the truncated presentation, the first ever, Complete screening of the multiple COVID postponed Top Gun Maverick. The man himself introduced via video message the first trailer to the seventh Mission Impossible installment, now subtitled Dead Reckoning Part 1. Cruz being Cruz, he did more than merely introduce the clip, not only doing so while standing on the wing of a biplane, but wrapping up his message by boldly, bravely, remaining on the plane's wing as it did a diving maneuver. It was an appropriate setup for not only the many other stints packed into the teaser trailer, but also the aerial antics of the feature presentation, which, judging by the reaction of the audience, should more than satisfy the fans of 1986's Top Gun and a whole new generation of moviegoers. The high spirits from the Top Gun Maverick screening then carried into the day's lunchtime program, where one of the film's stars, Glenn Powell, producer Jerry Bruckheimer, director Joseph Kosinski, and Paramount Pictures president Brian Robbins discussed the film and the state of the theatrical exhibition industry. Holding down the finale position for studio presentations per tradition was Lionsgate. Sebastian Maniscalco, star and co-writer of the upcoming comedy about my father, hosted the presentation. He unveiled the first footage from that film alongside his co-stars Robert De Niro, Kim Cattrall, and Leslie Bibb. Also appearing live on stage to introduce first look footage were Abby Ryder Fortson and Rachel McAdams. Stars of the screen adaptation of the classic Judy Bloom novel, Are You There God It's Me Margaret, and John Wick Chapter 4 star Keanu Reeves and director Chad Stahelski. Previewed without any in-person talent appearances were White Bird, a spin-off of the sleeper family hit Wonder, starring Helen Mirren, The Expendables 4, with Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, Randy Couture, 50 Cent, Andy Garcia, Megan Fox, and Sylvester Stallone. The Devil's Light, a demonic possession and exorcism thriller. Andy Lai Roth star-studded video game adaptation Borderlands, with a cast including Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart. A logo graphic animation teaser for the upcoming Hunger Games prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes closed out the presentation and closing out the convention week as a whole was the big screen achievement awards show where a few of the people who appeared on stage earlier in the day powell fortson mcadams and de niro as well as zoe saldana and billy eichner were honored in a ceremony hosted by entertainment tonight's kevin frazier For film reviews and more, please visit themoviereport.com. Also follow me at 2Tray23 on Instagram and at 2Tray23 on Twitter.